says hello everybody welcome to another video <laughs> So yes, as I just said, hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm filming this after the events of this video because just like when I was hacking, I completely forgot to film an intro. Today's video is sort of a Merlin training update because we have had a bit of a breakthrough in our arena work. So I mentioned a couple videos back that one of my goals for before Merlin's winter break is to get him working comfortably in a sort of long and low stretchy contact. And I've sort of been hinting at that with him over the last few weeks slowly sort of planting the seed so on Monday September 5th which was Labor Day Merlin and I had our second lesson together with my coach and in this lesson our main sort of idea was to start to ask him for the contact and previous ride before that I had been pushing a little more than just hinting. I wanted to really try to get him to understand what I was asking him to do because previously he had sort of like semi understood what I was asking him. He would hint that he was gonna start to lower his head and work through his back, but then he would come back above the vertical. Last Thursday, I had a ride where I really just focused on that, keeping his trot really, really forward and getting him to move forward from the hind end through his back so that the energy would be directed from his hind end into his head and down. We finished the ride it was for him probably a tricky ride because he was very confused like he was sort of working out what I was asking him to do but in true Merlin fashion just like when we do positive reinforcement I allowed him the chance to understand and to try to work out on his own what I was asking him to do but once he understood that was it so he gave me one really nice release and I stopped and got off so then Monday in our lesson which are the first clips you'll see he really started to understand and would sort of hold the contact for it started out as like two or three strides and then we got to a point where he would hold it for six strides seven strides half a circle and then we decided to stop so it wasn't a hard ride for him in terms of like physical work because I think my Equilab app said we only trotted for about five minutes, but it was a mental workout for him. So then I rode him again. He had a few days off and then I rode him again yesterday, which was September 7th, Wednesday, and he absolutely blew my mind. Without further ado, I'm going to start the proper video. You'll see some clips from my lesson on Monday and then some more sort of in-depth footage from my ride yesterday because I used my Pivo and filmed it. I just had a feeling that I was gonna want to film it and I was right. I got some really beautiful screenshots and pictures and videos that I'm gonna cherish for years to come. So these first two clips are from my lesson on Labor Day and this was my first time properly asking him to go into a light contact. So previous to this we had sort of been hinting at it, really focusing on forwardness and rhythm because obviously without proper forwardness and rhythm you can't get them into a true contact. And as you can see by the video he did really really well going to the left. I was so proud of him and the first time he actually got it I actually like completely abandoned him and was so excited like I just I was like good boy and I gave him a big hug and probably wasn't the best thing to do. So you can probably notice that the right is definitely the rein that he finds more difficult. And this has been the case pretty much for everything I've asked him to do under saddle so far. He always finds it a little bit harder to the right. So my coach was getting me to sort of press a finger to his neck just so that I knew that my outside rein was steady and that way he had more support. And then he could figure out the contact himself. And as you can see towards the end, he starts to. So these next clips are all from today's ride. As I'm recording this, it's Wednesday, September 7th. And as you can see, when I start trotting, I'm really not really caring about where his head is. I'm more focused on forwardness and rhythm. And because he's getting so much better at having a nice forward rhythmical trot straight from the start, he actually starts to offer the contact on his own without me asking. And this is a definite improvement from our ride on Monday. It shows that he really understood um, or start, is starting to understand what I'm asking of him. And as you can see, he's sort of ducking up and down above and below the vertical. And this is super normal for young horses as they start to learn how to use their bodies properly and properly working through their back because actually holding a proper head carriage and like a self carriage is quite difficult for them when they haven't had to use those specific muscles extensively in the past. And the reason that I'm doing a voiceover over the first parts of these clips is just because 
for whatever reason, when I started recording on my Pivo, the first few minutes of footage just doesn't have audio. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to preface some things that you're going to see throughout the next few minutes. So you'll notice that to the left, like I said earlier, he's a lot more consistent and comfortable. But when we start going to the right, you're going to notice that he throws his head a lot. He's ducking above and below the vertical, and he's just sort of testing the boundaries of the contact that I'm trying to get him to accept. And this is something that I've often experienced with young horses as they're testing out the contact. If they don't feel enough support, they will throw their head. So for me, that's a hint to me that one, either I'm not supporting him enough with my outside rein, or two, I'm really not forward enough. So my reaction, you'll see when he starts to throw his head at the trot to the right, obviously here we're still going to the left, um, but to the right, you'll notice that my reaction will be to just encourage him forward because if he doesn't have enough power coming from behind, he can't go into the contact effectively. So for the rest of this footage, I'm just going to let you sort of enjoy the raw footage with a little bit of music and you can see how much he improves over the course of the session because you can see here the head tossing and then at the end, He's going around to the right on a nice, decent stretch. I saw you inside, it was a cold winter night. You show sure like different intoxicants to make you feel alright. Now I'm sitting here. Merlin is now somewhat working in the contact. I wrote him again today, which is September 8th, the day after the clips you just saw. He was even more fabulous. I cantered him today for the first time in a while because we've just really been focusing on his trot work and forwardness and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse into Merlin, starting to understand the contact. It's you, it's it's so interesting, especially the footage from yesterday. You can really see, you can almost see the cogs turning in his brain as he starts out, especially to the right, tossing his head and at the end he's going around in a really nice stretch. My next video is going to be really special to me and I'm working on it at the moment. It's going to be all about the heart horse that came before Merlin, my childhood pony, Chic. But until then, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Goodness, bugs are everywhere. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!